Hey folks, Daily Lance Blog for the 17th case. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'll say it with more confidence. Hey folks, Daily Lance Blog for the 17th of January, 2020. Uh, there, was, uh, there was a day back in August, I think it was August 15th of 2011, that uh, a lot of people were shocked and, uh, and, and, and just really saddened by the death of Rick Rippon. Rick Rippon had played in the NHL with, uh, with the Vancouver Canucks, had signed a contract with the Winnipeg Jets where he had played in the American Hockey League in Winnipeg, and it was such a big deal to him. And he had, uh, he had publicly spoken about his struggles with depression, uh, and he took his own life. So that's 2011. And at the time, the Vancouver Canucks, uh, I think, uh, and they may not have said it right away, but even though he didn't play for the Canucks anymore, his legacy was kind of left with the Canucks. And they they sort of vowed to make a difference, to try to use his death for, you know, at least finding something decent from it. And I believe they've really accomplished that. I think their organization, the Canucks, have been phenomenal in making a difference in reducing the stigma and just normalizing talk of mental illness. Well... Uh, take a look at the link that Casey has put in the caption for this. It's about a current Vancouver Canuck named Tyler Mott. And Tyler Mott says, I suffer from depression and anxiety. And just those words I find to be incredibly powerful. And it's important to note that when I say that Tyler Mott makes reference to his illness, and that's incredibly powerful and really important for people to hear, that's no different than, than, than you. Wherever you are in your life, if you make that statement you can make a difference to somebody else. And sure, people with public profile have more impact because more people hear their message. But we can all send off the message, which is simply, I'm not ashamed, I'm not embarrassed, and I'm not weak. And that's exactly what he said in this piece, and that's exactly what he's going to say in the future because his words make a difference. Think of the message that he's sending. Um, and he doesn't say this part of it, but you know, here's a guy who's a professional hockey player. player. He has uh, risen to the top of his profession. Yeah, everybody knows that you have to be both physically and mentally really strong to play in the National Hockey League or to play professional hockey anywhere. And yet, with all of that strength, he has still been affected terribly by depression and anxiety. So what does that tell you? It tells me that those illnesses are not about strength or weakness. Those illnesses have nothing to do with preying on the vulnerable, preying on the weak. They have everything to do with one thing, and that is their sicknesses like everything else. Tyler Mott, nice job speaking about this. And uh, I can tell you, you will change the lives and maybe save the lives of people that you will never meet. You will never know about it. But uh, Tyler Mott should sleep a little better uh, tonight, or that came out a couple of days ago, um, knowing that uh, he's taken something really crappy in his life and done something really good with it. Signalweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. Or this year with Leap Year 365. You know why we're here, right, Case? Yeah. Why? Don't put me on the spot. Well, why, why are we here? Because we have shit to do. Exactly. That is our new motto. Sick, not weak. We get shit to do.